gain of a yard that was Trevin Wallace bringing him down. This is a big challenge for the Gators, trying to get the run established against this front seven at Kentucky. They are so physical, and they are so big up front right now, giving up only 77 rushing yards per game. That's tops in the SEC. Second and nine. Mertz, pressure coming after him as he is taken down. Blitz up, and there's bringing two guys off the edge, so the ball's got to get out of his hands quickly. He never even saw it off the get-go in Kentucky, and the speed of De'Eric Jackson able to bring him down to set up third and long, and here comes the crowd noise at Kroger Field. Third and 15, Johnson with blockers in front. He turns the corner, and Montrell. Year as the Florida head coach, the 44-year-old. Third and 18, Johnson again, and he's able just to slide ahead past the 20-yard line. Hits of Crawshaw's college career. Devin Leary under center. Ray Davis, excellent tailback, trying to get off right tackle. He's able to bounce it to the outside. And has the ability to be patient inside, but here the right decision was to bounce that great feet. And Florida's a Ray Davis, now in Kentucky blue. And look at him with the power and the speed and the cut. It was pass. Ability to make people miss, right? They're trying to push this thing up inside. It's not quite there. Bad tackling and sloppy tackling. He makes Jordan. Players in FBS. Wow. And again, and he is playing with some fire early on. Florida showing pressure off the edge. You just saw Davis give the point. Leary thinking about pass protection there. And he goes to the quick game as he gets it to Brown. And Brown does shake three past midfield and right at that line. He's so quick in space. This is just going to be a bubble screen. You get a good block outside by Dane Key. He's six foot three. But really, this is just Brown making guys miss and shaking and baking. They're going to try to find way. First down pass for Leary. Straight ahead and nowhere near the intended receiver. That was playing USC in a spot. I know, and having to emotionally turn the page after getting embarrassed, really, last week in front of a lot of people watching. It's a tall order. They're down in five. Leary looks to the right, is able to get it complete. Nice example of Devin, uh, Devin Leary just playing in rhythm, right? There was no hitch. That ball came for an easy catch. Davis again off to a great start inside the 20 and finally ridden. This play, this is him. He's going to come in and kick out Princely Uman Miel, and that kind of opened up the gap for Ray Davis to get through. And at this point, Miguel Mitchell at safety is just holding on for dear life with the face mask. It's an easy call. And how about this drive, Joe, by Kentucky? Started down by their 10-yard line. Five first downs on this drive. With 60 yards rushing, and now McLean comes in at running back on first and goal after the penalty. McLean testing the left side and good pursuit down the line. But touched in on Tennessee's opening drive, and here they are with their backs against the wall. Second and goal to the end zone, incomplete. Intended target by Dane Key, that he's just going to turn around to the outside and hook up. He just put that on his number. And that's a throw that Devin Leary knows. Liam Cohen, Mark Stoops, and a Kentucky fan. He has publicly said this week, I need to play better. Tenth in the SEC in passer rating. Third and goal. Leary with time. Lofts it to the corner of the end zone. Oh, and incomplete. This relaxes. I mean, that is put perfectly into his hands. I don't know if he took his eyes off the football or not. Maybe he's trying to tap Dan. Mertz, play action, going to take a shot downfield and unable to connect with K. Wanted to try to be more aggressive, pushing the ball vertically. And perhaps that's why Mertz has a 77.8% completion percentage. All the short game. ETN as he gets his way out to the 30. Walker, I and Graham Mertz on third and five. They drop eight. And that ball's intercepted. And on the return is Wallace inside the 20. 
He was looking to him. He's one of the guys who actually drops out. Look at him right here in the middle of the field. He's in coverage, and he's one of the guys that gets oh. the hit and pops it in the air. It was Trevin Wallace that was coming on a blitz. And he had the awareness to turn around, locate the football, and Kentucky gets its ninth takeaway of the season, which leads the SEC. Brad White. Pitch to Davis. Short side of the field, has to cut back and was able to keep his balance to the 10 run. Davis went for six yards on that run. Leary going to check it down to Davis. Davis makes the first man miss and works his way right to the end. Ford only has 12 yards of offense. Mertz with time. And that's off the mark, incomplete, looking for Jackson. What do you got, Matt, with a foot injury? Johnson on the ground. Only about three and a half yards. Now it's going to set up. Been a star coordinator in the SEC. Third down and six. Four-man rush, Mertz, Walker chasing him. Mertz has to sidearm it for a first down to Khalil. On that last turnover, he's going to come right up the middle, beating the left guard, and Mertz is able to use his feet, keep his eyes downfield. That's a difficult throw going to his left. Bill. Almost a baseball kind of throw to get the first down. Their first first down of the day as Johnson spins ahead as he was first con. Up and based on who's in the game. Ten personnel, two by two on second and seven with Johnson flanking Mertz. And he's able to get it to him right away as pressure was coming from the right side as Johnson search yards, so it is third and very short. Johnson, and he will easily get the first down as Florida has gone past midfield. Something that Anthony Richardson didn't always do a year ago, and because of that, I'd argue that Graham Mertz is doing some things better in this offense to keep them on schedule. Play action, maybe a holding call there, and it doesn't matter for Deion Walker at 6'6". Six, six. Again, 6'6", six, six, 350. He's their best player up front. He's just too physical and too athletic, able to keep his balance to come away with a huge sack and create a negative play. That's a loss of eight. Washman All-America a year ago, and he's off to a sensational start this year. Mertz on second and 18, that is batted down. That was Jack coordination, just being able to knock this thing down because this was a bullet coming right up top over the right tackle. Big time play and pass defense, and now that Seth Good Kentucky has been consistently on defense. Third and 18. Weaver given pushback. Mertz has to scoot out, and he has no option left whatsoever as Keaton Wade by the quarterback. He's just going to float here in the middle of the field, and when Mertz runs this way, he's going to follow. I think Brad White has done a really nice job early in this game, mixing up his third down looks. Again, the cat and mouse game activity, I think, is something that's really cool to watch on offense. Second and 10, ball out quickly, incomplete. It was thrown to the outside, the intended receiver, Jordan Ding. Come and coach this team again to get an opportunity to work with the NC State transfer. He's been very important into the assimilation of Leary in this situation. Obviously, some would say not off to the start they expected from the quarterback. That is incomplete off the hands of Brown, but Cohn has been stressing they're going to get them with leaping of the shield is what they're going to get them with. So that is a costly penalty that puts Kentucky back on the field. And then Ray Davis, all day Ray. Look at him go. Man, oh man, is up front. You've got to have tight ends, Dingle, and you've got Robinson at receiver. Getting blocks in the second level, and that is critical. They do a nice job just kind of walling Florida down to the right. And that frees Ray Davis in the second level. Jordan Castell at free safety was slow seeing it. And there's another one of those wow plays that Ray Davis has been able to deliver time and time again to this Kentucky offense early this year. We want to show you the penalty because they were punting from their own end zone. 
and this is why they stayed on the field. A leap over the shield. You can't do it. Jesse, where he just willed his way into the end zone. ETN trying to find something and finding nothing as more pursuit by the big blue defensive lines. Just such a good job of was assessed a 15 yard penalty that kept Kentucky on the field after they had punted away and a 75 yard touchdown came next. Graham Mertz as he tried to check it down flag is down as he was looking to get it to boarding him. Have to have that same energy and execution. And now in a hole. ETN just clogged up after a yard. So during the Billy Napier era, they're one in four in true road games, one in six overall. Weren't executing great, and they're off to another slow start here today. Here's ETN on the backfield. ETN was chased down from behind, and it was Oxendine. Third down and four. They're showing safety edge pressure as Pearsall motions. ETN, boy, they had that every which way. Fit it up perfectly. And the linebacker here, he's going to try to chip up to get this guy. But he's held a little bit by the defensive tackle. He does a great job holding his point. That's just unbelievable run defense at the point of attack. Being more physical than the Gators up front. Ridiculous. It's like high school. He's making it look like high school. Feed the beast. And they cannot stop him. Foot in the ground. And here he goes. Ray Davis past midfield. Nearly kept his stride before. 3.3 yards a carry. And they did it basically with five guys in the box. They have no answer right now. They are getting pushed around by the big. 44 yards per game. Davis alone has 190 rushing in this first half. Jefferson as he makes his way to the 26 yard line. You get the feeling for Florida to push in and find it quickly. Second and six. Jefferson in orbit motion. They give it to Brown as he reverses field and is able to get inside the 15. Pulling linemen. Everybody on Florida's defense thinks this is run to the running back. And now you bring in Barry and Brown on the reverse. This time, Jefferson is taken down as knifing in was Uman Mielin. Davis back in and Davis back to action as he spins his way inside the five yard line and just looking for more. Tight end shift on first and goal Leary under center with Ray Davis in the backfield. Davis pushing ahead and Davis is in. Ball came out, but the hands went up as a touchdown, Kentucky. Rolling on the field is a touchdown. And remember, all it takes is one. Under the radar, too, a, a transfer that a lot of people didn't really talk about, but, man, the impact he's had. Mertz with time out of the backfield is Johnson, who can't spin free. Alex Afar. Obviously, no Travis Hunter out there playing. Weaver at receiver hurt, too. So Jimmy Horn Jr. has got to be able to step up because you're trying to go toe to toe with Caleb Williams all game long. Horn's the player who had the thriller against Colorado State to help tie that game late. Mertz, shallow cross. That is blown up. Jonathan. O Third and 12, pressure picked up over the middle, and that ball, much needed completion as Khalil Jackson. Curl route right in here, and there's going to be a window between three defenders that Mertz has to fit this thing into on time. Quick pitch, get it out. Huge first down. Mertz with time, going to take a shot. And what an effort, but an incompletion as Pearsall thought he had. Off. Penalty makes it first and 25. Mertz scanning and incomplete. That was. 
Third and 16. Three man rush. Mertz with a man in his face gets it out to Pearsall. Pearsall made the first man miss and then makes it out to the 40 yard line. It'll be fourth. You know, you mentioned 11 years for Stoops. Think about that for a moment as McLean takes the handoff. Just 11 years. But Katie, tenure in the SEC. It's just Saban and Stoops, all the coach. Which is rare, as you guys know, this day and age. Second and eight. Quickly out to Brown for a first down. But Jesse, 24 Crazy. SEC head coaches have been fired in the span of. Again, when Mark Stoops is done, it's just been awesome. Leary quick strike incomplete that was off the hands of Brown coverage came from Jason Marshall. McLean testing the right side nothing there as the Florida defense with big Cam Jackson calling three rushing yards given up today when they average only giving up 82 third down and nine. Leary oh. that ball should have been picked and Jason Marshall could have put six up on the board. That's going to be a house call. He's a very talented young corner. He was the number one corner coming out of the 2021 high school class at his career. They got flights on Friday night just <laughs> I think it's first not, down. I don't think it's Friday night. Mertz able to keep it alive and get it to Pearsall. Really nice job by Murray on a linebacker. And they've got to get these running backs going as well. They got to get points here before halftime. Back to it with ETN. Got a lot of time. Second and five. Graham Mertz going to take a shot, lofts it downfield. Great effort by Caleb Douglas. On the ground after the catch, but again, that's the third time now they've taken a shot deep down the field. Couldn't come up with the first two. How about the high point by the six foot three wide receiver and almost stretches it to the goal line for a score. Look at this effort at the end to try to see if he could get the goal line. Wow. That was Caleb Douglas at six foot three. Texas native and it was Andrew Phillips Joe that had that great breakup on the post throw to Pearsall on the last drive this time though he didn't have a shot Douglas nice release just uses his speed and he keeps it vertical down the field so he's giving himself space to work with he didn't float away to the right hand side Mertz just puts it on his body and that catch radius of their big receiver comes up with a massive play you saw the left or the right elbow go down First and goal, ETN is the running back flanking Mertz. Got to get something. Tripped up, slipped up in the backfield as they are marking Trevor ETN down. Yeah, it looks like it looks Billy Napier's offense. Mertz to the end zone. Touchdown, Gators. Hayden. And these two right here. And that's going to allow Hanson to get in behind it. Nice job riding with the running back there before rolling out. Putting it right on the money. That is a massive touchdown for momentum and for the confidence. Have you seen Travis Kelsey's jersey sale? It is. Uh, we went up 400% within 24 hours. People in Naples are wearing Travis Kelsey jerseys now because they're Swifties. carries here in the third quarter had a 75 yard touchdown run after a big penalty that kept Kentucky on the field they're able to fill that gap a little better as he goes ahead for only a gain of two and start to think about perhaps the all time Kentucky single game record it's 299 here's Robinson as Robinson will turn upfield for a cat's first down 11 yards from Robinson. Davis that was well blocked and a cut and Ray Davis is adding to it. Ray. Guards going to be coming in and kicking out. Ramon Mielin and there's the crease. You see the linebackers try to slip blocks. They're not there in their lanes. There's another missed tackle in the second level in Kentucky with these pulling schemes have been taking advantage of the Gators. They go with the quick strike and that goes for 10 yards. As he connects with Barry on Brown. 
Jones could be a historic day for Davis. He sits at 240 yards, and we just started the second half. Davis patient this time as the big blue wall tried to push the pile ahead. And just going seven, can get a first down at the three yard line. Tight formation, Davis straight ahead, lowers the shoulder, be third and short. But, but also, Tackle by Williams. Leary to the end zone. There was a lot of contact, and that brings out the flag as Barry and Brown. How about this time blocking off the edge and allowing Devin Leary to get this football out? And then on the back end, it's Jason Marshall who dropped the pick six in the second quarter. This time, grabbing a little bit too much of the jersey there on Barry and Brown. Up that guy, Ray Davis. And they can't. A penalty flag is down. We'll check on that. It's in the end zone. But Davis crosses the goal. Going back to that last touchdown, the substitution problem the Gators had on defense. Check this out. 13 guys. Illegal in the CFL. Douglas go down at the end of the first half, so young players have to step up. Johnson getting around the left side, and Johnson able to skirt that sideline for a Gators for both. That offensive pace that was just detailed. Mertz. Looking downfield, and he's going to tuck and slide. As Safari was coming in, Oxendine was trailing Mertz. It's been one of the more underrated aspects of, I think, Mertz's career at quarterback is his ability to make one guy miss and then get up the field, seeing a sack on the final drive of the half that ended up leading to a touchdown. Nice job there. Johnson taken down, couldn't get back to Gators. Mertz steps up. Mertz taken down three yards short of the line to get. And they just rush all through these gaps. Florida didn't have an answer. Gray and Mertz forced to step up fourth down now, and they've got it. They're two of seven on fourth down this year. Mertz gives it over to ETN. ETN with a blocker in front, and ETN takes it ahead. Khalil Jackson was wide open right over the ball in the shallow cross. He doesn't see him. Somehow he's able to stay up on his feet with Trevin Wallace all over his body, gets it to ETN, and that was the first. Mertz on first down. Wide open, Pearsall going into the end zone. And let's see where they mark this to touchdown, Florida. Devin Leary on first down. As he throws a strike to Tavian Robbins. Play Kong, everybody expects them to run the football. Ray Davis is having an historic day, so throw play action on first down. And an Especially when it's a guy who left and then comes back. But you're starting to see what Liam Cohen is all about. And he grew up in football. He said, listen, my father, Tim, Tim was a guy who run game today 268 yards already against an outstanding D line Davis gaining extra yards and Eli Cox you just saw the center there but just to the side of him third and nine Florida trying to pressure Leary who's unable to get it into the hands of Dane Key that's incomplete all that Dane Key has just has to catch this is an all-out blitz he's hot he's got to get rid of it it's a great route I know it's behind him a little bit but that's a gain that cream Mertz quickly gets it away and as he goes to the freshman Gene again you know, we describe this as an opportunity Here's all in motion. Boy, that was an awkward snap as they just get it to Johnson on second and fourth. Pearsall's running jet on third down. Third and two. Johnson straight ahead. Oh, he's going to be just short. He's going to be about a football short of that line. He's up at the top of the screen, number 58. Ball kind of runs in behind him. He's locked up with Khalil Saunders from K Kentucky. 
watching him. It looked like he looked like a Navy SEAL out there throwing the ball around. Kind of got that that vibe. Davis going ahead for more. You know, Liam Cohn, the offensive coordinator, said, "Listen, he has a little bit of a different way of leading." This is one here too. This is one where they need to drive. They need to sort of reestablish themselves with momentum. They're going to have to run the ball, but the Gators are expecting it. So Leary's going to have to make some throws. Only 69 yards passing. You don't need to pass that much when Ray Davis is having an all-time day running the ball. Quick game. Robinson. Blocker in front as he's tripped up just at the end. Gators defense desperate for a stop, and they get it. That ball was tipped at the line is coming off, and Devin Leary's going to the right place. This is going to come here, and he's throwing a quick out all the way to the outside to Dane Key. But this ball just gets batted down right off the, the helmet of Jackson, and that's a big stop the Gators need. ETN that tackled for a Mertz to the outside as he gets it to Gene. And Gene's going to. Rotation level is for them. We've talked about that. In this rivalry, he expects his team to go out nice this time. What a difference a few years makes as they go with the quarterback sneak on third and one. Keep in mind, when Florida. Would Over the course of 11 years, talent wise, but it's the mindset and expectation that he's created, which I think makes what he's done so special. Quick game again. Gene is getting active in this second half. He's a really big recruit week against Vanderbilt. Only player in SEC history to ever do that. Two pick sixes in one game. ETN. Oh, he breaks free and a first down for the Gators. ETN. Mertz on first down. Oh, sacked all the way back at Mazuka. Just can't get to him. There's a right tackle has a chance, the right guard has a chance, and he continues to fight until getting to Graham Mertz. Fantastic effort. Was test, and J.J. Weaver has persevered through quite a bit of turmoil and tribulations in his life. He's been a beacon of hope and strength for his team. ETN with the reception before the ball goes out. Katie, please continue. They're going to run it with ETN. Well, that just shows you that they own and four. Mertz gets it complete, but short of the sticks. Arliss Boardingham was a quarter. Start on Florida's side of the field. Ray Davis to add to his big total today. Look at him slither and weave. He's over 260 yards. For this season in college football, the best rushing stats this year. Second and five. Well blocked. Another first down and more as he's taken them for a very quickly on Kentucky's schedule. He's 26 yards away from the all-time record in the history of the school. As Davis now, you know they're just going to be feeding. The that he's become for this offense is just so explosive. Caddis now the fullback in the I formation. As he will set the block for Davis. Just one more yard there. Obviously the Gators front seven knows exactly what's coming at them. Quick game as they set up the screen. And driven back. A tackle for loss. As something Mark Stoops had asked for early in the week and challenged his fans to deliver, and they have. Mertz steps up and then goes underneath the Johnson, and Johnson is hit hard and taken down. More at 10 a.m. Second and seven. Mertz downfield as he gets it complete to Johnson. Here's what Coach says so. First and ten. Mertz. Backing up, being pressured, just had to get it away. He does so to Johnson, who struggles to get back to the line of scrimmage. The second time, he's playing down to the very last whistle. Mertz drives the ball and gets it complete past midfield to Khalil Jackson, who's a... And a nice catch by Jackson. They all wore number 22. They did, yeah. will as well. That's a big number. As this goes to Boardingham. Uh, and also a nice job there making that... 
Second and six. Mertz going to check down to Johnson. Look at how quickly everybody gets to the ball on this Brad White. Deep. Brad White, watch. There's going to be a corner go to the outside and a safety come to the inside. So there's nowhere for the running back to go. They are sound, Joe. Yes, they are. They line up. They play with great effort. You don't. Third down and 11. Mertz looking for anything has to go underneath and up and over is ETN. It'll be another fourth down. Well, they're up for the Gators. ETN nowhere to go. It's going to be a turnover on downs. Keaton Wade was right. Defense in college football. He played at Kentucky and also, Joe, one of the Montreal Alouettes all time oh. great defenders. Yeah, Ray Davis just struggling to get back to the line of scrimmage. Flag comes in. The Alouettes, he played on those Alouettes with what? Mike Tyson in Saudi Arabia. What's wrong with he's training with Francis and Ganu That's against so cool. Tyson Fury on ESPN pay per view at the end of October. The miles. That's, those will be some dinners. Oh. Tyson versus Tyson. Ray Davis on a potential history making day. As we told you, 299 yards is the old Bruce Drake, the owner over there, is uh, ready for a little NIL deal with Ray Davis. Sweet baby Ray. As now Sumo Karn Bay, he just keeps adding to it. As the Cats are going to be celebrating. By the way, we went there last night. We went to. Oh, please. On him. First and goal. Sumo Karn Bay. Not much there, but listen, let's put this in perspective a little bit. We talked about the streak. Oh, Tennessee, and that's just in the month of October. College football rankings are broad. Short pitch to Sumo Karnbe. It's Florida defense. We said it earlier, Jesse, when we were analyzing this game, when we were getting ready to.